got to like the confidence that they take back out into the field. Now will they keep that confidence? Time to find out. Four yards remaining now on watch second left, down. Watch left, watch left. On second down, Roethlisberger. Bryant with a catch right side. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, ah, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a first down carried by Bell. He'll get three up to midfield. Tackle made there by Mason Foster. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First level defensive line, second level linebackers, third level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first-level run, and it was stopped by a second-level player. Again, we'll see the pistol here. They'll go again with Bell. Now Bell hit. He lost the football. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. He gets it to Brown, complete. A good pick up there, a 22. And I think their fans are saying, hey, where's that Roethlisberger to Brown connection been in this one? First time they get together is in the second half. I don't think any of us would have predicted that going in because we know how valuable that is to their offense, and that could be a big reason. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bashad Breland. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. Jordan Reed was the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Well, so they just got the football on an interception. They almost gave it right back the same way. And you know, when you look over to the bench after that type of a play, number one is pure relief. Didn't give it up. But it's not the coach you're worried about yelling at you. It's those guys on defense who just intercepted the pass who want a break over there. Hey, take care of the football, man. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had the fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They'll indeed go for it. It's Cousins. And this is caught by Jackson. Give him 23 yards on the pickup. And on fourth and long, somehow they're able to keep the drive going. And the former fourth-round pick in 2012 continuing to prove some of those doubters wrong that he used to have. I remember when he got selected, there was a lot of controversy about that because remember, Robert Griffin III, they made the big move up to take him in the first round. And people wonder, what? Deshaun Jackson off to the races. Touchdown. Washington. Deshaun Jackson with a career-high four-touchdown game. And this Redskins offense continues to pour it on. And let's count them up now. One, two, three, four touchdown receptions for him in this game.